Dee, how you doing, honey? Listen, got a golden opportunity for you. Word on the streets that when Waco says golden, it's usually a turd wrapped in crepe paper. It's a sticky situation. Sticky? Wow, you're really selling this, Waco. Job like any other. Just the clients will demanding. Clients got every right to be demanding. What makes this one any different? Wants everything to go exactly as planned. Willing to break the bank for it, too. Job like this needs your magic touch, V. Anyone less experienced it, just fuck it up. Huh. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Now I'm sure it's a turd in great paper. So what's the spec? Caroline Jablonski. Set off any buzzers for you? Murdered in cold blood, made waves a few years back. They locked the guy up. But now there's a chance he could walk. Jablonski's family wants to balance the scales of justice for good. You'll finish him. So you want me to murder someone? Wait, this isn't the Dalai Lama? Must have gotten the wrong number. You didn't arrive in this pond yesterday, V. You know how the fish gets sliced. The perp being proven guilty? Meaning he deserves to die, truly? Do I look like a criminal prosecutor to you? What did he do, exactly? I'm not a beat reporter, neither. You want the job or not? All right, I'm in. Good. Client will be waiting for you by a car at the corner of 6th and Brandon. Huh, in a car? Client wants to tag along. Be there in person when you put a bullet through the guy's eye. Good luck. Huh? Bill Jablonski. Mm. Did Okada give you the details? Didn't go into a whole lot of detail, no. Joshua Stevenson. You and me are gonna give that murdering fuck what he deserves. I'll tell you more inside. Get in, you're driving. They're supposed to pass down this street. We just sit tight till they show up and follow them. I want to see the light in that motherfucker's eyes go out. Whoa. Why? So he can smell his own fear before he dies. Want him dead why, exactly? That's not your concern. Rather know what I'm getting into. Stevenson murdered my wife. They convicted him, put him on death row. But the slime bag found a get-out-of-jail-free card over my dead fucking body. Wait, Stevenson won't be alone? Could have prepared better knowing that. No one else needs to die today, only him. Who's his entourage? They gonna be packing? Ordinary people. Once we scare them, let them know we're serious, they won't lift a finger. How do you define ordinary? Corpo rats who got him out of the can. They'd sell their own mothers to save their own skins. Just don't fire at them. Nothing to do but wait, then. What's your name? Unimportant. Unimportant? <laughs> the same thing they told me when I wanted to know his real name. The dirtbag who killed her. I... There they are! Step on it! On him. Don't let him get away! Stop the damn car! Fuck! This is it. Let's go. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking kill him! NCPD! Stop right there! Lieutenant Vasquez! NCPD! Stop right there! You're protecting a murderer! Drop it or I shoot! Wait! No, stop! Stop the killing! They're here to kill you! It's not their fault. Shoot the guy, and our deal is dead. Vasquez! Shoot! Right. Let's just all shoot holes in each other. Crying out loud? Fuck! We can't leave him here! 
media vultures will be here any minute. The fuck are you doing? Stop! NCPD, stay where you are and get that goddamn semi out of here! We take him with us. What? You, you want me to come with you? <laughs> I need you. You're out of your fucking mind. Hey, another word from you and I am calling the studio. Don't make me ruin your career. Gregor, nobody. An head and I mean guy. nobody. Yeah, will harm one cash on your head. Bill Jablonski. I'm just uh, no priors. But run a deep sweep just to be sure. Two. What the hell is coming this? back. What's your name? This fucking mess. First, you're gonna tell me what the hell is going on. I can explain. Just fucking listen. Don't go. We're clear to go. Boys from the I precinct will mop up here. It's okay. You don't need to tell me. My name is Joshua Stevenson. And your associate? What was his name? Bill Jablonski. Ring a bell? Sadly, yes. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Wait a sec. You're V. I heard of you. Can't say the same about you. We can't take him. Out of the question. He's way too big a threat. Well, I want to give him a job. <sighs> Christ on a stick. Finally, something that isn't a complete snore fest. Could binge watch this all day if I had some popcorn. You gonna tell me what it is you want from me? Well, this one time Rachel is right. We can't stay here. Come with us. You'll find out all you need to know on the way. Got to object, strongly. Noted. But you don't have a vote here. Ha! <laughs> That's it. Got no fucking idea what this is about. But if you don't go with them, I'm never talking to you again. All right. I'll go with you. Uh, move it. We're running late. Have you ever experienced anything that changed the meaning of existence? Changed your life. Don't feel like talking about it. Hmm. But well, then let me speak. Twelve years ago, I was sentenced to prison for armed robbery. And other sins. I shot and killed several people in cold blood, and it didn't mean anything to me at the time. But behind bars, you get all the time in the world to think. And I thought to correct the errors of my ways. Why'd you shoot him? I was holding a gun. I didn't like the way they looked at me, and I had the power to stop them. I still see their faces just before I... <clears throat> Frozen in time. God, give me strength to never forget. A tale of repentance, redemption, and rebirth? Been on TV a thousand times, probably. I'm usually asleep before it's half over. This won't be TV. This will be entirely different. Spill already. What do you want from me? Stay with me for the day. And I'll pay you what you were promised to kill me. Uh, excuse me? With what money? Not mine. The studio's. And the studio will pay. Still got no idea what it is you want from me. Remain by my side and talk to me. That's it. Why? Are you lonely? Yes, I am. I truly need you. You know, I've still got that contract to kill you. What's to stop me from fulfilling? Me. One strange twitch, I kill you. Hey, there's no reason to upset Vasquez. Your fixer will get what they want. I'll make sure of it. How you figure that? Trust me. Everyone will be satisfied. I guarantee it. Just till the end of the day. Till the end of the day. I sense anything going wrong, I'm out. No one will force you to stay. Vasquez, keep an eye on them. I'm gonna stay in the car. Keep it short. We're on a tight schedule.
Zuleika. You're late. I found a companion along the way. Someone from the studio? Do you remember what you wrote me in your last letter? He is everything you spoke of. V, meet Zuleika. Wouldn't mind knowing what's going on here. Anyone? You haven't told him anything? We just met. There wasn't time. You really are insane. Mama isn't back yet. We can talk inside until she returns. Come in. Hurry up. I'll be waiting outside. Looks like someone doesn't enjoy waiting patiently. Fuck off! In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. She wrote me letters while I was doing time. That is how we two were united. Through forgiveness. You mean to say you let the man who killed your brother off the hook? Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Whether it finds enemies or neighbors, God's love knows no bounds on Earth, and neither should ours. I'm not buying it, not at all. You believe in a merciful God, yet he allowed for your brother's murder. Let it happen. I grieved for Reuben. You cannot know how much. I wanted him back, but then God showed me his plan, and I found peace. The Lord knows I regret killing Reuben, but if not for him, I never would have found the path to God. We can't know the paths of divine providence. Do you believe in God, V? Why are we even talking about this? Zuleika and I have a... A running dispute. I was thinking you could help us resolve it. No, no! I never agreed to anything like this! I'm all ears. Joshua, he... He thinks he's the Messiah and wants to end his own life. That is not true. I never said I was any sort of Messiah. Suicide? Do you really think that's what the Lord could ever want from you? It won't be suicide. What exactly is going on here, Josh? When the media learned I'd found God in prison, the next day my face was on the cover of every screen sheet. A brain dance studio took notice. They sent representatives to make me an offer. <laughs> Bloodsuckers. I was facing the electric chair. Now, with the studio's help, my death will be more than a state-sanctioned murder. They want to scroll a brain dance of Joshua being crucified. An execution like any other, just garbed in holy robes. Well, hang on. A BD studio changed to how a convict's gonna be executed. Doesn't the law say something about that? Corpse write the laws. Corpse choose the judges. All it takes is a sit down between the studio's CEO and a state's attorney. Officially, I'm here on a supervised one-day furlough. But no law can prevent me from spending that with new acquaintances. Corruption's a sin too, isn't it? And corruption got you here. This is much bigger than the laws of man. With this brain dance, I'll take God's message to billions. Zuleika transformed me into a child of God. It's time I repaid that debt. I want to bear witness to love's existence in a manner that all the lost souls on this wretched earth can understand. Why love? If unconditional love exists, then so must God! It's time the world was reminded of His divine presence. Think of the millions jacked into their feeds like livestock. The children growing up in gang-infested streets. Do they know love? Think of the joy toys on Jig Jig Street. Coked out corpos in their offices, murderers who stalk the streets. I want to reach them. I will reach them. And think of paid killers like you, V. 
Have you known love? Do you know what it is? Mother is home. Joshua Stevenson. We meet again. And who are you? This who we've been waiting for? Yes. Mrs. El Amar. I have come to beg you for forgiveness. You... You murdered my son. That is something I can never forgive. I truly do regret the pain I have caused you. Out of my house, no! Just go, please. Out, all of you. We should leave, really. Please, Mrs. Elamar. Murderer! It's okay, just go. You took my Reuben from me. My child, my son. Let's go back to the car. I just wish I could have talked to Gloria and explained everything. And somehow I thought... I, I thought she'd find it in her heart to forgive me. Time to grab a bite to eat. Oh. Who can blame her? It's not easy to forgive your son's murderer. Stevenson, we all knew how that would end. If you forgive anyone their sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Really ain't to spin a virtue of your crucifixion. Ugh, yes, really. You'll be kicking up a shitstorm. Hater's gonna hate. It is something I must do. For if this won't shake the world to its core and wake us from our collective nightmare, then nothing will. Take Stevenson inside, grab us all a table. Need a word with our stowaway here. Wait up a sec, I want to talk. So, what do you think about our next big BD star? He's got some organic chips loose. Needs psychiatric help. Hmm. My thoughts exactly. But it's too late for that. If he's as crazy as you say, why is he so important to you? Because Stevenson's got a little something that's in short supply, but in very high demand. That little something's called authenticity. And that brain composed entirely of cat shit at this point. He truly believes what he says. Huh. Sounds like the perfect BD actor. Mm-hmm. And one incapable of fucking up in any way. Stevenson could be a fat old fucking gold vein for our studio. And that's my concern because... You're fucking with his mind, asking probing questions. You're making him doubt, and most importantly, jeopardizing my investment. So I'm prepared to pay you double what he's promised you to quietly walk away. Don't do it, V. My answer's no. Why do I think you don't understand what I'm offering you? Understand just fine. Let's go inside. Not bad for a petty mark off the streets. Corporal rats. Think they can solve everything with eddies. And you proved her wrong. Just don't make her desperate. She's liable to bite back. See every kind of dirtbag in this city. This Jesus shit ain't fooling me. You even think about making a break for it. Your ass is going down. Nobody's paying you to open your mouth, Vasquez. Got a tough customer with that Vasquez. Even for a badge. He is set in his ways. Like so many men. This brain dance. I'm curious. Tell me more. Title's the passion. We're speaking to the LCD, of course. And it's gonna revolutionize BD. How so? Well... Stevenson's furlough is only so long, we can only scroll the last bit with him. But we'll fill in the run-up to the finale with BD doubles and Nemo Bank assets. It'll feel like Stevenson, though. How's that even possible? Give me a break. We're part of EBM. 
infinite investment in tech. A couple of years and we won't be using actors anymore. My dream of the day. So why Josh? Sounds like you don't even need him now. The son of man's agony. You can't weave it strictly out of digital threads just yet. In a city tingling with desire, they'll do anything to scratch everything. And you, get any say in all this? He forced the writers to go with the Christian gospel according to Luke. It originally opted for John. Guess that's, uh, important for... John's version is crude and over the top. The gospel of Luke speaks more to my sensibility. Besides, Luke's Christ is prepared for what awaits him. I want the world to understand that. Feel it. You sound like an actor who really wants to become the part. I only have one shot at this. I, I need to make a count. I really believe you're like Jesus. I believe we should all follow his example. Chatter's pointless. That's enough. Stevenson can't be distracted. He has to focus now. Joshua and I are talking. So fuck off, will you? Excuse me? Realize the stakes here. Tomorrow, this guy's gonna create his masterwork. He needs to focus, keep his head in the game, and put in the performance of his lifetime. There aren't any do-overs. Josh? I'd like to rest now. Perfect timing. Your job's done here. You can go. And don't worry, you'll get your fucking money. Goodbye, V. Hey, you there. Yes, I'm talking to you. Are you getting what you want out of life? Let me guess. Props. Really well played, Dad. What do you make of it all? Guy just might be the biggest nut job I've ever seen. But it's still corporate exploitation. When you begin your journey to the final frontier, send the word space to 7299 for a chance to win a one week getaway so, for ready? Your cynicism is starting to wear thin on me. We could talk in circles, but who cares what we think? What would it change? Corpse will continue to grow rich off his type, and the masses will live on with their pipe dreams. Hang on, where's Rebel Johnny? Seems to have lost him. Well, I found him. He's inside that guy. He's the real rebel. Make up your mind, which is it? Nut job or Messiah? He's fucked in the head. The world's fucked in the head. And you're fucked in the head because my fucked up head is inside it. Guess if you want to save the world, that's the first step. Get fucked in the head. What do you think? God exists? Fuck, kill me, please. Come on, serious question. What? Why? So you flatlined, then got your beat back. Don't tell me that's left you wondering if a construct can even be saved. Truth is, I died and rose again. Plain and simple. Uh-huh, so what was that? A miracle? What's it make you? Messiah, a phoenix, or a factory restored early model archer? Got no fucking idea what it was. And neither do you. Tell you exactly what brought you back. A clever bit of corpo tech. If there's a true messiah among us, I'll tell you who it is. Saburo Arasaka. Upgrade. <laughs> One you'd summarily execute if you ran into him. See, that's why I'm me and you're you. You drop to your knees before gods. I drop them, pop them right between the eyes. You're gonna tell me you don't think about being a digital psyche, possible consequences thereof, really. I mean, are you already dead or alive till the last existing digi ghost of you is shredded? Meaning like, am I gonna ascend to digi heaven? Descent to digi hell's more likely, but yeah. There is life after death. Is Silverhand already live in the afterlife? And I'm talking to his animated epitaph? I don't give it an ounce of thought. Surprise! To me, I'm just that. Me. No netherworld, no happy wonder world, just duped digital psychics. 
Weird as fuck today. Just kind of unreal. But reality beckons. Come on, we got places to trash.